Hi guys, welcome back to Divine Times 2. Hope you're doing well, keeping yourself positive, busy, and healthy. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make pumpkin butter and turkey pinwheels. They are simple to make with tasty ingredients. Make them for your next celebration, brunch, lunch, or as a snack. No matter when you enjoy them, they will be delicious. Can't wait to show you how I make these, so join me in the kitchen and let's get started. Let's begin by cutting in half two eight ounce bars of cream cheese. I'm placing them in a medium bowl. And I'm going to cover it and place it to the side for 25 minutes. I want this cheese to be somewhat softened before I add anything else to it. For this recipe, you will need one cup of chopped pecans. I don't have chopped pecans. I like to buy the pecan halves. So what I've done here is placed pecans in a quart size bag and I am going to smash them with a spoon. Smash them until they get like this. That's how I get my pecan pieces. This is one cup of pecan pieces. Now before I add anything to the cream cheese, I want to cream it before I add anything to it. To the cream cheese, I am adding half a cup of pumpkin butter. Since I don't have homemade pumpkin butter, I am using store-bought. This is the one that I am using. It tastes good and you can get it at Walmart. Mix cream cheese and pumpkin butter until creamy and well combined. The cream cheese and pumpkin butter mixture is done. This is delicious and it is so fluffy. Oh, it's so good. You could use these on crackers. Mm, spread on crackers. It's delicious. Let's begin assembling the pumpkin butter and turkey pinwheels. Start off with a sun-dried tomato wrap. Evenly spread one fourth cup of the cream cheese mixture over the wrap, leaving the edges without the cream cheese mixture. Next, sprinkle two tablespoons of the pecan pieces. Lightly press on the pecan pieces into cream cheese mixture. Now for the turkey slices. Since this recipe makes six rolls, I am using a pound, which is 16 ounces of sliced turkey. I am using honey turkey, but you may also use smoked turkey and they are equally delicious in these pinwheels. Place four slices over the cream cheese and pecans. Begin rolling the wrap. When you come to the end, you may place a bit of cream cheese on the wrap to help it stick together. Place to the side while you make the other wraps. Repeat until you have no more wraps left. Thank you. 
I have finished making six rolls. Now let's wrap each roll in plastic wrap. Place to the side and repeat for the rest of the rolls. Then place in the refrigerator for up to four hours or overnight. Let's unwrap the rolls. And slice them. Cut them half an inch thick. Cut the ends first. Don't throw the ends away. Store them in a sandwich bag and have them as a snack. They are equally delicious. Now they've become pinwheels. Place the pinwheels on a plate or tray. If you are taking them to a party or making them for Thanksgiving, wrap them so they keep fresh in the refrigerator. These will stay fresh for one day. If you don't slice into the rolls, they can keep fresh for up to two days in the refrigerator. This is how I like to wrap the pinwheels if not enjoying them right away. These pumpkin butter and turkey pinwheels are delicious. They are easy to make and you don't need an oven. They will go perfectly at your next Thanksgiving table as an appetizer or as part of your Thanksgiving meal. Hope these will be part of your table on Thanksgiving Day or any other day. You are going to love it. Well guys, thank you for watching and we want to let you know that we appreciate you. Don't forget to comment down below and let us know if you make this recipe and how it turned out. Give us a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed already, please do so you won't miss out on any of our future videos. Remember to stay kind, positive, and divine. See you next time. Love ya. Bye.